Hi, let's do a high contrast beachy look today. So as always, start with your spray primer. Let it dry just a little bit. And then let's do some color correcting. So we're starting with concealer number one. It has a yellow tone, so that will cancel out the redness. So as you can see, I'm covering a couple of dry patches on my eyelids. Next, we're gonna do some under eye color correcting. I'm using concealer four because the orange tones will cancel out the purple. Next, let's do some pre-contouring and highlighting of the nose. I'm using concealer five to contour my nose, giving my nose a straighter appearance and my face a more finished look. Now I'm highlighting down the center with concealer zero. I'm pulling that highlight a little bit up to the forehead. Uh, using concealer one again to help mask some redness I have on my cheeks. Now I'm just uh, blending out some of that concealer one, finding the rest of the little red spots that might need some extra coverage. Next, we will use the buffer brush to blend some of that concealer out before we apply foundation. The first foundation we'll apply is Shinto 2. We're going to put that in the areas that we want to stay highlighted. So tops of the cheekbones, over the nose, middle of the forehead, and down to the chin. So we're gonna blend that out really nicely, then move on to contouring. So we are going to use a really deep shade. It's in the eight. We're gonna put it under the cheekbones, up to the temples, and down and underneath the jawline. So this is what's going to give us that really high contrast look. Highlighting right under that contour with Shinto 2. Next, we're going to blend over all of that with Olive 4. So getting that really nice and blended. We're gonna look very nice and beachy tan. I love the foundation. It is a wax-based formula. So this is all blending together really easily. Uh, both the foundations and the existing concealer that we already have on. So we're just gonna get that really lifted cheekbone look and keep blending, blending, blending. And the foundation has a really beautiful satin finish that looks and feels just like skin. So most importantly, don't miss any spots. It looks like I missed a little spot blending right under my jawline, but it's a super easy fix. So now we're gonna go back and highlight with a little bit of the concealer zero and just kind of finish off that really high contrast beachy look. Now we're going to set the foundation and concealer with the Perfect Pressed Powder. I'm using my all over powder brush and it's taking off a little bit of that shine, but it's not stealing my glow. And this is going to mattify and extend my makeup wear. Now, using the angled blush brush, we're going to use blush number six in glowing and just sweep really generously over the cheekbones for a natural glow. Now, using the tapered powder brush, we're going to accentuate the contour with the perfect bronzer. So we're accentuating that contour, carrying it down to the neck, touching at the sides of the nose. Next, we'll do brows. So using the 10 Years Younger Setting Spray, spray one squirt into the cap. Take the brow tamer tool, use the spoolie end to arrange the eyebrow hairs. Dip the brush end into the cap. And we're going to start with brownie points. It's a really dark, neutral brown. So we start at the tail. Oops, <laughs> just fix that little boo. -boo. Shape the arch 
and fill in with that darker color. So again, starting at the tail, shape the arch, and continue to fill about halfway through the eyebrow. Touching up and filling. So now we want to have a really nice straight line under the eyebrow. So now to get that nice faded look, we're going to use taupe for the best. So we will fill right under the head of the brow, draw that nice straight line and fill. And the difference in the color is going to give us that nice faded look. Now we brush through with the spoolie end to help blend those colors together and also achieve that really natural yet still on fleek look. As you can see, this is a really strong brow look, and in many ways, it is very much the focal point of this neutral, beachy, high contrast look. So moving on to eyeshadow, we are going to use the pointed blender brush to apply peachy gleam, starting from the inside corners of the eyelid and pulling out to the middle. Peachy Gleam is a very peachy shade with a little bit of shimmer. Next, we'll apply Taupe for the Best from the outer crease and pull towards the inner corner of the eye. And just really getting that nice and blended. <laughs> Next, we will use brownie points on the outer V of either eye. And then we're going to come in with our domed blender brush and just really aggressively blend that all so it looks nice and natural, but we still get that nice smoky eye look. Next, we'll come back in with the peachy gleam and re-highlight the inner corners of the eye. And then we'll take our tapered powder brush and just with the very tip, use some of that peachy gleam over the very tops of the cheekbones to act as a really nice shimmery highlighter. Next, we'll create a smudgy liner look using the Bent Liner Brush in concealer number six. So as you can see, you get a lot of control and precision using that Bent Liner Brush. The concealer has a nice dewy, satiny finish, which is going to help your eyes pick up on and reflect the light. No look is truly complete without mascara, so let's use the perfect mascara. Starting at the base of the lashes and gently rolling the wand as you approach the tips gives your lashes a natural tapered look. What's awesome about the Perfect Mascara is that it has fibers rolled right in to the formula, meaning that you can build as much volume and length as you want in just one step without having to add dry fibers later. Apply one or two coats for a very natural, feathery lashed look, or let the mascara dry completely and go back and add a third or fourth coat for a very voluminous look. Add the signature jeweled lip gloss in the color Peace to complete this look. Peace is opaque and very nude, so it goes perfect with this look. Extend your makeup wear for up to 16 hours by applying 10 Years Younger Finishing Spray. And there you have it. Order anything you saw me use today, including the brushes, from limelightbyalcone.com forward slash carollimelight.